Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I would like to share with you how I fully lined a sleeved dress. Uh, today is the one year anniversary of the completion of my very first dress. And uh, so to commemorate the occasion, I thought I would share with you what I have learned during the last year. And one of the most useful skills that I have learned during the last year is actually how to line the dress. So as you can see here, the dress in question here is um, a wool knit, but it's a very um, sturdy knit. And originally I planned to make a sort of a wool sweater. But then, um, even though I really love this fabric, it's a little scratchy. And since I actually did have enough, so I decided to make a dress uh, with this fabric. And so here is a close up of the texture. And it's um, sort of uh, a camouflage print. And I am just a big fan of camouflage print. Anyway, so this dress itself is from New Look 6176. And I previously had used this pattern uh, for the doggy print dress talked about in my second video. Um, and so, and also the winter wool dress. And um, so here, so as you can see, I have completed the, uh, the pretty much the outer shell of the dress. So I have attached the sleeves and I have also attached uh, the center back um, an invisible zipper like this but uh, as you can see you know I have not finished the zipper so the zipper you know sticks out past the um, the neckline here so uh, so this is the dress itself and the lining I have also done it already so uh, so it's so it looks like a separate dress already so here you go so this is the lining and I'm making the lining with a standard weight China silk. So how I attach the lining to the dress is actually a few steps. Uh, during all the steps, uh, please do remember always right sides together. So of course this is the right side of the lining fabric and also this is the right side of the outer fabric. So what I will do, the first step is I will connect the neckline of the lining to the neckline of the um, of the outer shell. So basically it will look like this, the right sides together. And uh, I will do it this way. So you kind of envelope it, you know, with the sleeves touching each other, but obviously around. And uh, then I will pin the the shoulder seam of the lining to the shoulder seams of the outer fabric. And I will also line it this way. So here you go. As you can see, I will line it this way so it's completely uh, you know, aligned with the edge of the outer fabric. And just so at the standard seam allowance all around the neckline, all through the zipper, all the way through the other end. So now I have attached the lining to the outer fabric along the neckline as you can see here. So the next step is to attach the lining um, center back towards the zip, uh, along the zipper. So here, for example, here this way. So then I will line up the, the lining fabric along the edge of the outer fabric and then pin it this way. And then, so, and then as you can see, this is a zipper teeth here. And I will sew the lining to the outer fabric along just to the, um, either the right or the left of the zipper teeth. So then it goes this way. And then I will connect it all the way up until the end of the zipper. And I will do it for both sides. To attach the lining along the zipper, 
I switched to a zipper foot and as you can see here I make sure that the um, the the edge of the zipper foot is just next to the zipper teeth here and the needle is within the um, the presser foot here so as I go along the zipper teeth the needle will not hit the zipper teeth So now you see I have sewn the lining to the outer fabric along the zipper here. So this is what it looks like now. So I just sew along the zipper teeth. Um, and then still this is open at this time. So I did that for both sides. And now the next step is to understitch the uh, lining. So what I will do is to understitch along the zipper. Uh, so this is so basically I was so a line of stitch so this is a zipper here and so so a line of stitch to keep the lining away this way so away from the zipper and so that will require that I do it this way so I will sew it this way here while leaving the outer uh, layer uh, away So now I just um, under stitched the lining um, along on the zipper line. So now it uh, the lining will stay away from the zipper when I zip it up. And I have done it uh, for both sides. So now I can go ahead and close the um, the portion uh, below the zipper. So now I have um, closed up the uh, the lining below the zipper and then so I have now turned the, the dress inside out. So as you can see now the lining is firmly attached to the dress in the, along the neckline first and then along two sides of the zipper and then I understitched it uh, here. And then now I closed up the portion of the lining from the hem uh, to the zipper and then I've also uh, went ahead and uh, ironed it flat now so the seam is flat. Now the next step is to uh, attach a lining sleeve um, at the bottom here to the outer fabric sleeve um, the same way. So what I, what I would do is here looking like this, actually now let me turn it right side out again. So now it looks like this right and then so you will actually uh, stick your hand uh, through the sleeves so now the lining is now through the sleeve this way so you can see the line in this way and to attach it first uh, we will have to find the under seam here there's a seam here and also there will also be the same seam along the uh, the lining and so what we would do is right sides together so I will fold it this way and then uh, fold the under seam of the sleeve uh, this other way and then so then they will touch you know like this one now so they were touching each other right sides together so now I have turned the sleeves 
uh, forward and then the lining the other direction so then they will touch each other right sides together then I put a pin here to secure it so now it's time to reach under uh, and then pull out the sleeves So now this way here, and then this is where I put the pin there to remind, to secure the positions. What it looks like after I connected the lining to the outer fabric at the uh, the sleeve uh, sort of cuff area so this is what it looks like so now it's a bit of a mess but this is a lining this is the outer fabric so now I would turn the dress right side out uh, and just keep shaking and uh, and so now the lining is attached uh, very well to the sleeves. So, so this is what the interior looks like now. If I turn it over, so this is what it looks like now. So it's a very professional finish. Um, so it's great. And then um, normally my lining um, sleeve length is one inch shorter than the outer fabric. So that would give me this very nice cuff. And of course, if uh, the shorter the lining is on the sleeves then the the larger you know the the fold over portion will be uh, so you can adjust the sleeve length this way even after you've sewn it up if you decide the sleeves are too long or too short you can adjust it this way all there is left to do is uh, either under stitch the lining here so it will stay this way uh, but because here I have a, because this pattern has a band here, a neck band here, uh, so you can kind of, a neck band here. Instead of just under stitching at the top here, I will actually fold it over and then uh, stitch in the ditch along the seam line here to secure the lining down. So I finished um, attaching the lining uh, to the dress um, by stitching in the ditch along this neck band here. So now you can see. Uh, so I sewed it along, so now it's fully secure. And I also went ahead and hemmed the outer fabric and also the lining. And so now we're completely done. So here you go. So this is what it looks like. So this is the front, and as you can see, it's a very nice cuff here, so uh, right this way, and so it looks really professional, so I'm very pleased how this turned out. And then the back of the dress looks like this, and because I, un I understitched this portion, so then the lining stays away from the zipper, so the chance of the lining getting caught is much smaller now and then this and then uh and then i uh went ahead and hemmed it so it's all finished so here is the finished dress so as you can see i have the neck band here and uh three quarter sleeves and then this is the back and also here's a video of this dress um and with two pockets i think most likely you I will also add buttons into the pockets uh, just for decorative purposes. And overall, I'm very pleased how this turned out. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and have found it helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, please do stay safe. And I hope I will see you soon. Bye bye.